At sea, weather isn't just something to keep an eye on, it's everything. It influences your route, your sails, your anchorage, and the mood on board. Understanding weather isn't about memorizing forecasts, it's about making informed decisions every time you step aboard. Sailors quickly learn that what you see on your phone often doesn't match what you feel on the water. Forecasts designed for cities or inland areas don't account for the wide open exposure of the sea. There are no buildings or hills to block the wind and no pavement to heat up and cause convection. Out on the water, weather moves faster, hits harder, and often behaves very differently than it does on land. To understand what's really going on out there, we need to know what drives weather. There are four key elements that shape what we experience on a yacht. Air pressure, temperature, wind, and humidity. High pressure usually brings calm, stable conditions, while low pressure brings change, winds, clouds, and rain. Temperature differences create pressure changes, and wind moves in response to those differences. Humidity brings moisture, which turns into clouds, fog, or storms. These four forces are always interacting, and the better we understand them, the better we can anticipate what's coming. Weather doesn't just affect your sails, it affects every part of the experience on board. A strong breeze on a reach might be perfect sailing weather, but the same wind on the nose can turn a pleasant trip into an exhausting slog. Sea state plays a big role in comfort, and even a sheltered anchorage can become exposed with a change in wind direction. If the crew gets seasick or cold, morale drops, and that affects safety too. Staying ahead of the weather means staying ahead of all these challenges. One of the best tools for making sense of wind strength is the Beaufort scale. It turns raw wind speeds into something tangible. A force too, about 6 to 10 knots, is a light breeze, easy and comfortable. Force 4, around 11 to 16 knots, is where most yachts sail beautifully. At force 5, you might consider reefing, especially if you have new or nervous crew. Once you reach force 6 or 7, the sea state becomes rougher, and you need to start thinking about your options, reducing sail, altering course, or finding shelter. Knowing the Beaufort scale helps you make decisions before conditions escalate. Thinking like a weather-aware skipper isn't about knowing every cloud type or memorizing forecasts. It's about habits. Check more than one forecast. Notice changes in the wind and sky. Be ready to adapt your plan, leave earlier, change course, or shorten sail. And talk to your crew. Share what you're thinking and why. A prepared crew is a safer crew. So here's what we've covered. Marine weather changes quickly, affects everything on board, and requires your attention and respect. The good news? You don't need to be an expert. You just need to stay aware, ask questions, and keep learning. In the next episode, we'll get hands-on. I'll show you how to read marine forecasts, decode weather charts, and use tools like GRIB files and Windy to plan your trip.